Chris, you bring more people hunting to the field than anyone I've ever met. Um, what drives you to bring new people? Just to go. To go? To go. I mean, and, and I mean, there, there's a lot of reasons. The, the sport, you know, to continue, it talks about, you know, all the statistics say that <laughs> hunting numbers are going down across the nation and people that don't hunt tend to vote against the sport. It's an yeah. emotional thing and they vote against the sport. And so through some kind of restrictions, it's pretty soon we're gonna lose that. But besides that, it's just plain fun. It's fun to get out, you know? Uh, it's fun to shoot. Uh, uh, it, it's a good time. You just killed a turkey, dude. Was that a horse neck after I shot? It's pretty fun to see somebody get there yeah. their first. Yeah. Their first, uh, uh, yeah, and then first duck, goose. Yeah, it's kind of like, um, you know, you see a bird dog, will get all sighted to mm -hmm. retrieve, and you can see it in the faces of young kids, too. Uh, they, 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 they just get jacked when they get their first bird. He said last night, I've got good feelings, Dad. I just feel like I'm going to shoot a turkey tomorrow morning. It's like, <laughs> Oh, I got a story to tell at school. <laughs> it's uh, something that just keeps growing on them too. Yeah. But it, it's nice. It's nice to see them get out and do it and get outside and get off the computers. It's, it's a more real thing. And plus, you get something good to eat too. <laughs> <laughs> ducks is my first time out hunting ducks. It's your first time out hunting ducks? Yes. You lucky duck. And Hunter actually got out and shot a little bit with his, mm -hmm. with his dad and learned a little bit and nailed his first bird. Shot, oh yeah, now that's great. I, I love seeing, you know, Hunter, a first first bird, a mallard mm -hmm. like that, a uh, big drake, and that that's great. Yeah. yeah. It was a slow day the rest of the day. <laughs> he well, hammered that first mallard. Yeah. So you see how that worked? Yeah. He landed right in the water. You jumped up, boom, dusted him. See how it takes some oil to get off the water? Yeah. Before um, I'd come hunting with you, I'd killed ducks before, but I'd never killed a goose. You were there for my first goose. Oh, that's right. I forgot. That yeah. Was, okay. You know, that was a few years ago. Uh -huh. I really, when I really started picking up how much waterfowl hunting I did, uh -huh. uh, you were there for my first goose. So that was kind of cool. Last year, we had a hunt where we brought um, brought Luke along and a couple mm -hmm. of other uh, other of his friends. What kind of day was that, seeing them get excited? <laughs> well, it was. It was the last Saturday of the season last year. And uh, actually, the season overall had been a little poor. Where, but Luke and uh, Feller and Danny were all basically new shooters last year. We, we had a tremendous day. I think we, we dropped eight or 10 mallards, draw drakes, and then a couple golden eye, and uh, we got four or five geese, and uh, it was just, just an excellent day, and they were pumped. Got some really good pictures. It was the, one of those days where just the birds just kept coming in. That was, it was nice to see them pumped about it, too, because yeah. they got lots of shooting in. What do we got, Luke? We got two drakes so far, but... Uh... They look good, look pretty. I went out hunting with Chris Holworth actually and got my first dove out there and um, it kind of got me hooked. And so when duck season opened up, I went out with him. I had to borrow my dad's 12 gauge because I didn't have a shotgun of my own being a new duck, being a new bird hunter. Remember we got a hen and a drake mallard out there our first time on the river. Nothing like it. It's not like big game hunting. It's not like small game hunting. It's something completely different. Every week after that until season closed, I was out duck hunting every weekend. I had a good time out there, man.
how has your um, your dead room how has that <laughs> transitioned you, you told me that it, it's changed a little bit over the oh. years like what your trophies actually look like I have a living room dining, you know, area that my wife has called the dead room, has labeled the dead room, and we have a bunch of mounts in there, uh, several different kinds. But uh, I find myself putting up more pictures lately uh, than I do dead things on the wall or hanging from the ceiling. I started doing a little taxidermy myself on on birds, so I'm I'm still putting some birds up. But it's the, the memories through pictures are just as important now. I try to try to get one good picture of every new place I hunt or new people I hunt with, especially if we have a good day. So I got a lot of pictures up, yeah. <laughs> That's well, cool. Running out of wall space. Regan keeps joking about, well, we're going to have to add on. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> Well, when we've had uh, when we've had international students out for some of your or for some of the meals that we do through uh, college ministry, we're both involved in um, that grizzly bear is actually one of the uh, main attractions. Lots mm -hmm. of people like to pose with the grizzly bear, but it's pretty cool to see them point out all the different birds, and you usually get to answer a lot of questions about them. Yeah, well, I try. How have you kept people interested that have that have wanted to come with you, like new hunters? Because I know there's several that you've that you've taken out and you they they want to keep going. What do you suggest to other people to help them bring more people hunting, but do it in a healthy way where they want to stay involved? Well, you know, uh, unfortunately, hunting's uh, or shooting is is uh, a fairly expensive sport, but I would highly encourage them to go out to clay birds. I mean, it's it's great practice. It keeps your interest up. You can see it, it really doesn't take too many times uh, to go out and shoot mm -hmm. and, and increase. I, uh, you know, your your hitting and your percentage of hitting. Yeah. You just get out, practice a little bit, and you're shooting. I mean, it's like anything. You practice, you get better. Mm -hmm. But shooting keeps keeps a person's interest in hunting. So. What is your favorite thing about just hunting in general? Not not duck hunting, not big game, not turkey, just hunting in general. Getting out here, it's like you're just away and it's peaceful. And also the adrenaline when, you, when you're about to pull the trigger on a big buck or when the ducks are coming in. I just love when the turkeys are gobbling. <laughs>